In today's video, I'm going to show you how to unlock undervolting in any laptop with a lock BIOS if you have a 10th generation or 11th generation CPU. So this is a video for all the people that go into throttle stop and unlock adjustable voltage is grayed out or if you use Intel XTU, your undervolting is grayed out. This video is going to show you a method how those things are not going to be grayed out anymore and you're going to be able to undervolt your 10th or 11th generation Intel CPU. So let's get to it. So first what I'm going to need you to do in YouTube, just go to my homepage, hit that subscribe button, you won't regret it. So we, uh, the extended version of this method, if you want to go through all the methodology, is how to undervolt a Dell G15 with a lock bias. But I'm giving you the shortened version because I already know the two figures that you need. You need the CFG lock and you need the overclocking lock. If you can change those from zero times one, which is locked, to zero times zero, which is unlocked, you unlock undervolting. So if you want the whole extended method, go ahead and click on this video. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. But we, we are omitting a couple of steps because we already know those figures. So I'm making it shorter for you. So once you click into this video, um, there's going to be a link to my Google Drive. So just click the Google Drive and then it's going to take you to this over here. So if you want the extended method, as laid out in how to undervolt your Dell G15, download all these files. But because I already know what your overclocking lock and your CFG lock is for 10th generation, and I know what your overclocking lock and your CFG lock is for 11th generation, you don't need all these extra files to, to go about that process to find out those figures. So all I'm gonna need you to download from this Google Drive folder is going to be the grab boot setup so just double click that and then we're going to download this okay let's go back and then i want you to download the screenshot it's just going to show you what it's going to look like in the grab menu it's going to look like this so just start because obviously once i boot my system i'm not going to be able to record that so this just gives you a representation of what it's going to look like so just download that and go back. And then I need you to download the Grab X64. Okay, download. And guys, this is a is a program used to um, to alter your boot. So it's going to say uh, this type of file might be dangerous. Don't worry, we're altering boot files to unlock undervolting. So don't worry about it. It's not dangerous. If you follow my steps, everything's going to be fine. So just go download anyway. Okay, so let me close this off. Then we go to downloads. And then you can just drag all this to the desktop. And then we're going to put this in sequence here. Okay, and then the other thing that you're going to need, and it's this is mission critical, you need to have a USB flash drive, uh, preferably between 4 gigs and 32 gigs. If it's bigger than 32 gigs, you're not going to be able to format in FAT32, and we need you to be able to format your USB to FAT32 for the purposes of this video. So go ahead and stick in your USB, and then once your USB is registered, just click on your USB and then just right click on it and then we're going to go format and then file system make sure that it's FAT32 default and then just uh, rename your USB overclock and then start your format boom okay format complete so your USB is going to look like this it's going to say overclock and it's going to be empty so that's great. So now what you're going to do is you're going to you'll grab over here, but you don't want it to say grab x64.efi. What you want to do is just rename this grab part. Just call it boot x64.efi. And once that's like that, what you're going to do is click on your, your uh, formatted USB and then create a new folder. Call this EFI all in caps. 
Okay, double click EFR and then create a new folder and then you can rename it all in caps, boot. Now once you rename boot, just drag or just cut and paste this boot.x64.efr inside that. Boom. So just to show you what your formatted USB is going to look like, it's going just click on there, it's going to have EFR as the first folder, then it's going to have boot as the second folder, and then it's going to have that boot x64.efr great so we're done with the the, the uh, formatted usb right so now before we get to the nitty-gritty and you boot into the gnu grab menu from your usb what you're going to need to do is just the grab boot setup so just to reiterate for 10th generation your overclocking lock is 0xda and your cfg lock is 0x CE and then for 11th generation your overclocking lock is 0xdf and your CFG lock is 0x43 and then once you boot into your grab menu for 10th generation you're gonna just type setup underscore VAR and just remember guys everything is case sensitive so however I write it here I want you to write it like this so just to restart for 10th generation you're gonna type once you're in your grab uh, GNU grab menu you're gonna type in setup underscore VAR space uppercase C P U uppercase S E T U P space 0xda space 0x0 and then what you're going to do is you're going to press enter and it's going to say successfully open cpu setup offset is 0xda is 0 times 00, zero. writing 0x00 zero 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 to offset 0xda and then once it does that you're going to type setup underscore var space capital c p u capital s e t u p space zero x three e space zero x zero and then you're going to press enter and then it's going to say successfully open cpu setup offset is zero x three e is zero x zero writing x uh, zero x zero zero to offset zero x three e and then once that is done i want you to uh, close your computer or just uh, switch off your computer reboot your computer and then once you go into uh, throttle stop or intel xtu you're going to notice that undervolting is unlocked now for 11th generation exactly the same thing so once you in your gnu grab menu I want you to type setup underscore VAR space capital C P U capital S E T U P space zero X D F space zero times zero and then I want you to press enter and then it's going to say successfully open CPU setup offset is zero X D F is zero X double zero writing zero times zero zero to offset zero xdf and then what i want you to do is type setup underscore var cpu setup um space zero times 43 space zero times zero press enter and then it's going to say successfully opened cpu setup offset is zero times 43 is zero times zero and then it's going to say writing zero times zero zero to offset zero times 43 and then just reboot your system and then once you boot into your system you're going to notice that undervolting is unlocked so guys what i'm going to suggest is before before you boot what i want you to do is just take a photo or print this document out because obviously i can't show you how i do it because if i do that then the video is going to cut out so just take a photo of this or print this out so now what you're going to do is you're going to stick in your usb you're going to restart your system and then you're going to tap f12 uh, to boot into your once off boot menu so i've got a dell, a dell laptop 
So for me, I tap F12 until I boot into my once off boot menu, and then I select my USB, and then that boots me to my GNU grab menu. So now, for, for all laptops, a little bit different. For a dial, you tap F12. For uh, Acer, what you do is you tap F12 as well. For um, for MSI laptop, you you tap F11. For um, for Alienware, you also tap F12. Whatever your laptop is, just go and check out on the internet how to boot into your once off boot menu. So once you know how to boot into your once off boot menu, what you do is you stick in your USB and then click restart. And once your system restarts and your system logo appears before booting into windows as soon as that system logo appears you tap the key that boots in you into your once off boot menu once in you once you are in your once off boot menu select your usb and then that's going to take you to your gnu grab menu and then once you're in your gnu grab menu just go ahead and put in those instructions for 10th generation or put in those instructions for 11th generation and once you finish with that, just uh, reboot your system and the undervolting will be unlocked. Right guys, and it's as simple as that. And that's today's video. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you did get undervolting unlocked, be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. But in the meantime guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good week forth. And please always remember, it's people like you that make a difference. Cheers.